true love feel good vibes and great music oh, yeah. this is radio 44 your music your life even the other stations are listening This is the drive through with Hermina. In this hour, I'm going to be joined by Anuja Patel, who's an independent producer, singer and songwriter, and she's from Kenya. We're going to be talking about all about music and sound engineering. Stay tuned for that coming up in this hour. And it's all about music in this hour of the drive through because I'm joined in the studio by independent producer, singer and songwriter and she's from Kenya and she's also a sound engineer. Welcome to Radio 44 Anuja. Thank you so much for having me. So let's get straight into it. First of all, for the unversed, what is who is a sound engineer and what do they do? In the most simple terms, a sound engineer is someone who manipulates sound. So this can be for commercial, it can be for artists who are recording music. It's just basically the person behind the scenes. Okay. So the person what about so in Indian music and all, all sorts of music you have a music producer a composer. So that person will tell you what sort of beats they want and then you put it together. Yeah, basically. So the client comes in and they say they give me their vision of what they want their sound to be and i can compose that put that together digitally or physically and then manipulate the sound to really bring out certain effects that they want their sound to sound like okay so what inspired you to pursue a career in music production and sound engineering especially because you've graduated in music production from the university of westminster so i'm not going to say it's been an easy journey actually <laughs> But um so growing up me and my siblings all had to play a musical instrument it was um like a mandatory thing in our household so i was playing the piano from when i was 6 and then slowly after that i started to pick up the guitar and then i started opera singing when i was in school and i wanted to take the singing thing further and so I wanted to look I was looking for some studios in Kenya that could help me, you know, with people could make music for me and then I could sing and record. But I just couldn't find anywhere. And so I decided to kind of do it myself. And so when I was 13, I built a makeshift studio and I taught myself how to produce using Logic. Um at the time when I released music that I had made, I thought it was the best thing ever. I thought I was going to get famous. I listen to it now, I think it was terrible, but It was a step in the right direction and then as I went to uni um I thought about it more and it it kind of appealed to me to help other people make their visions come true and I could be a part of that. So when you you mentioned when you were 13 you did something uh, you created a sound studio at home did you get any sort of support from your school in terms of what you were doing when you were studying music in school? When I was in school here, I don't think I didn't really get the support from them, but it's not because they didn't want to. I think it was just me never asking for it. Okay. And I was very much someone who was like I can do this myself, I'll build it myself, and I really wanted to prove something to myself, so Okay. So as a woman in a field of music production and sound engineering, I'm sure there's a lot of unique challenges that you've encountered. So how do you navigate these challenges especially because most of the times it's a man's field. You're right. It is a very male dominated field. Um in my uni actually I was the only woman of color in my whole course and that was out of two women. <laughs> so it's been a bit it's been a bit tough. Um but one thing I will say I think it's really easy for a lot of people to fall back on a on a comfortable space to say that I'm not getting the opportunities because I'm a woman or I'm not getting the opportunities because of this and while I think certain aspects of that is true I think at the end of the day it's also our own responsibility to say that despite these fallbacks it's not really the reason I'm not getting the opportunities I think if we really want it we can achieve it um even in a male dominated space and I'm not saying that it'll be with ease but I'm also not saying that it's impossible So what do you find the most fulfilling or say the most enjoyable experience of working in this field? Definitely like one of the big things is 
I've had a lot of challenges where it's given me the chance to prove people wrong and I'm I like the successful feeling that comes with that and I think for me especially in London like I've gotten to work with Spotify and Apple Music and it's been such an amazing journey um, definitely not places where when I started I thought I would end up um, and I really liked the client work that I've been doing so I've been working freelance which means that I get to meet a lot of different clients and I get to see a lot of different projects and it really pushes me out of my comfort zone sometimes so it's not really what I'm used to doing for example there was one client I did a project for and uh, they wanted baile funk music which I have never produced I've never really studied uh, excuse my ignorance what exactly is that <laughs> baile funk is like Brazilian okay. uh, funk basically uh, yeah never done it but they wanted that genre for their uh, personal trainer commercial so it's definitely a very challenging thing because it's not something like I said that I've done but I got to learn a lot and I think meeting different people and then seeing their reaction when you make their vision come to life is really fulfilling as well Okay, so we're in conversation with a singer, songwriter, producer, sound engineer, Anuja Patel. We're going to take a short break. We have lots more to discuss with her. Stay tuned to Radio 44. It's Saudi Soul with this all-time classic, Sura Yako, which, did, uh, which released in 2015. There's so much that happens behind the scenes when it comes to music. Music isn't just produced, it's created with highly skilled engineering. And we're joined today by Anuja Patel, who's a sound engineer from Kenya. And uh, we're discussing music and sound engineering. So Anuja, from your perspective, is music production and sound engineering really a viable and a rewarding career choice for women today? I would say yes, but that's honestly from personal experience. I wouldn't say that it's an easy career to get into. It's definitely not your traditional space where it's you study and then you get there's like a lot of job opportunity. It's definitely something that once you study, you really have to work for a lot of the opportunity that you get. But I think it's very re rewarding. Um, like I mentioned earlier, having to work with these massive companies has been such a fun journey. And I think it's really rewarding in all of the things that you learn through people that you work with and collaborate with and the time that you spend on your own like bettering your skill uh, so yeah I think it is very rewarding you mentioned Apple and Spotify that you worked with them well walk us through the journey how did you manage to do that honestly contacts uh, that is really I feel like the base of the creative industry today is really who you know and networking so um, with Apple music so I've been DJing for about a year now and uh, I met a girl who works at this big uh, sneaker company. It's called Kick Game in the UK. And they were doing a Beats by Dre headphone uh, collaboration with Apple Music and their sneaker brand. And they were launching uh, a curation, curated profile on Apple Music. And so they were looking for DJs to play um, for their Covent Garden store opening. And uh, this girl that I knew, she, she messaged me and she was saying, oh, we're looking for some cool female DJs. Would you like to be a part of this? And it was really just that. I was very nervous for it, but it was a very cool experience. Did they pay you? Yes. Oh, wow. There you go. So that's a good thing because yeah. normally when you're starting out, they don't want to pay. So that's a yeah. great thing for you as well. So you've also won the Best Vocalist Prize from the Harvey Mason Jr. in 2015, which is a great achievement. First of all, what is the Harvey Mason Jr.? So Harvey Mason Jr. is a big producer in Los Angeles in the U.S. And um, I met him there uh, during the 2015 Grammy Awards and got the chance to sing in his studio. Um, which then he awarded me a Best Vocalist Prize and I think that was really cool because I was 15 at the time, I had only really just started singing. It wasn't really... I was in that phase where my mom was like, oh, you have a great voice, but I didn't truly believe it myself. 
So how has that recognition um, shaped your musical journey, influenced your perspective on music production? It's definitely increased my confidence a lot. Like I said, I think when I did it, I didn't really truly believe I was a singer. I was just doing it because I was told. And then when I heard the heard it back and I got this award from this really well-known producer and he looked at me and he was like you should come back you know you have potential to have a career here I didn't end up going back but it was definitely something like 15 year old me was like oh this is amazing and it really set me up for kind of what I wanted to do and initially that was to be a singer and to be a famous singer at that but I think on my journey towards that, I really transitioned into enjoying the behind the scenes a lot more. So what's the creative process? Uh, what happens in, during the creative process behind your music? What's it like? So a lot of my inspiration, so I start with my inspiration, which I can't lie, with, a, with being a creative, it's not everyday inspiration, it really comes in random moments and I think you have to seize that moment so something that I've really learned with my whole creative process is if I don't create what is inspiring me in the moment I am going to forget about it and not have that drive so definitely the inspiration and then I kind of um, write the music first so if it's digitally being composed, then I'll go onto my digital software and I have a little keyboard that basically can play all the instruments. So I'll kind of have a reference point of music, maybe a song that I like or a song that uh, fueled the inspiration and then basically make something not exactly like that, but would take an inspiration from that track. You sample it basically. Yeah. And then I will sing and write usually when I write lyrics I don't really sit there and write them I'll usually kind of freestyle over the beat and then go back and refine uh, some of the lyrics okay uh, what sort of projects are you working on right now so at the moment I'm working towards being part of a studio so this new studio in London is actually opening up um, and it's not it's not completely set up yet so it's kind of we're working towards it and i'm working towards being a sound engineer for artists so i haven't actually recorded for any other artist aside from myself i the main jobs i was doing in my freelance was for commercials and uh, for companies mainly so it's definitely cool i'm looking forward to it because i think working with artists is a whole different ball game it's like you're really bringing someone's vision and it's also attached to visuals because when an artist comes in with a song they have this kind of vision. idea yeah for a music video and so the music has to tie in with that and so i'm looking forward to that okay this is all great but i know for a fact that it's very very expensive so what sort of costs are we looking at yeah you're right it is it's a very expensive uh avenue for sure um, I think it's very doable because when you're just starting out, I think my biggest um, ad piece of advice for anybody who's starting out is definitely to invest in a good microphone and interface. I think those are the two things that cost me the most. And then when it comes to software, a lot of these softwares, you can do a lot with the free versions of these softwares. So while you're teaching yourself or if you're learning from someone else, free software, very easy, um, and YouTube. YouTube is free. YouTube is where I learned a lot of the things that I know right I now. I mean, YouTube is where Justin Bieber came from. I should exactly. pick him up from there. <laughs> so we will be back. We'll have a rapid fire with you where I'm joined in the studio by Anuja Patel, who's a sound engineer. Don't go away. We have lots more to discuss. We, it's about time we do something fun now. So let's have a rapid fire with you. I'll ask you some questions and I need answers from you. Quick, simple answers. So let's start off with your favorite genre of music. Definitely alternative Afrobeat. So Afrobeat mixed with R&B. Best song ever produced in the world. So I think it's Ahista 
from the Bosnia Hasino soundtrack. Oh my god, we have to play that after this. Um, music to me is like fantasy world. If I could work with one artist, it would be Marabou State. In three words, your parents' reaction when you told them about your career choice. Shocked, scared, but proud. Okay. Hindi music to me is home, culture. Rap music is high school. <laughs> your shower song. Something you sing in the shower. Amy Winehouse. Which song? Um, Valerie. Okay. Song I can't sing but want to master. Any song by Simi. Okay. Now, just to wrap up, first of all, we want to wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you make it in Kenya as well because you are looking at moving back and starting your own thing here. The music industry here is much smaller than it is in England. But I think that's a good thing because it's easier to not network and make contacts, which is something you were talking about. So we wish you all the best. But what advice do you have for younger people who are looking at venturing into music production and sound engineering as a career? Honestly... Do less talking about it and just do it. And on that note, thank you very much. We wish you all the best. And uh, you said that uh, you you like Ahista. Uh, you think that's that's the best song? Yeah. Okay. So in that case, we have to play Ahista. Great. It's uh, in the voice of Shreya Goshal and Lucky Ali, and it's playing for you on Radio Forty Four. The hits you love. Feel good vibes and great music. Oh. This is Radio 44. Your music, your life. Even the other stations are listening.